Part of McLaren's racing sustainability strategy is to innovate in circular economy. McLaren Racing has a history of pioneering in the material space. Uh, we were the first team to incorporate carbon fiber on the car, which is a very strong, very lightweight material. In 2020, we were the first team to use flax bio-based fiber as a substitute for carbon fiber on the car. And now in our 60th year, uh, we are using recycled carbon fiber for the first time, which is a major breakthrough. I was the first driver to race in a seat made out of bio-based flex fiber in 2020. And now I get to be at the forefront of innovation again by trialing recycled carbon fiber on the car in Austin. We're working with an organization called V-Carbon on this. They are a innovative composites organization that are focused on uh, developing new technology to make recycled carbon fiber viable. So the reason we're doing this trial and the reason we're so excited about it is because it is about showing that this is possible. Like it is about exploring what can be done in the manufacture of a Formula One car to make it more sustainable. Everything has a carbon footprint. So when you take a raw material and manufacture it, especially something very complex like carbon fiber, which has a lot of different components, all of those raw materials have to be extracted processed, transported, there's energy and fuel that go into all of those things. So if you look at a normal piece of carbon fiber, if you recycle that piece of carbon fiber, you are skipping a lot of those steps which require energy and fuel. And therefore, the recycled carbon fiber component has a much lower carbon footprint. Because it's recycled carbon fiber, it could be from a fighter jet, it could be from a road car, it could even be from a wind turbine. Global demand for carbon fiber is set to double between 2020 and 2025 reaching about 262,000 tons per year. If just 1% of that carbon fiber were recycled, it would save more than a quarter of F1's 2019 carbon footprint. McLaren Racing has an ambitious science-based target to reduce its greenhouse gas footprint by 50% by 2030 and to hit net zero by 2040. If you compare a regular carbon fiber part to a recycled one, the recycled part will save about 90% of the emissions. So that means we are lowering the carbon footprint of the parts that we're making by using recycled carbon fiber for them. We're also making incremental progress in the sustainability of our factory processes. We have substituted out the normal vacuum bags we use for bio-based vacuum bags, which work in the same way. They just avoid plastic waste. You'll see them in the manufacturing process. They're the purple ones. So this is the first trial of these recycled carbon fiber parts. We're using them on non-structural, non-safety critical parts, but just to prove that it works, to prove that it's fit to purpose, that it is good enough, the strength retained in it is high enough to put on a Formula One car. From experience so far, there's not much difference working between the two materials. Same processes can be used, the same tools and equipment, so it is easily translatable for us as a team to use. This unlocks the potential to use it in other areas of the car, considering that the mechanical properties are near enough the same as normal carbon fiber. It's cool to be one of the first people to be working on this project, and it will be really interesting to see how far it takes us. A more circular economy is essential to decarbonizing not only us as McLaren Racing, but also the sport and industry more widely. So what we really want to do is throw our weight behind these developing technologies so that they can scale and develop to the point where they can be used across the grid. It's incredible to think of the impact such a seemingly small change could make to the overall carbon emissions of the sport if it's used more widely and very exciting to be the team taking the step to try it.